r slash ask reddit what were you surprised you ended up liking cooking never was a fun till a chef friend of mine taught me some simple tricks a step at a time and i was hooked for example how simple are you looking for season your meat with salt and pepper at least before cooking actually salt and pepper is just a good tip in general if it's savory add salt and pepper sweet just add salt from that build up knowledge of other seasonings a recipe at a time is great to piece together what goes with what do all prep before you start cooking and clean as you go look for different ways to cook greens they are really simple to get tasting good once you stop boiling them taste as you cook and feel free to experiment but follow baking recipes to the letter as you're learning don't be afraid to cut into the meat to check whether it's done or invest in a thermometer overcooking meat can ruin a meal if you're cooking a pasta sauce add a little bit of the water you cook the pasta in the starch helps that's just off the top of my head some basic beginning bits sushi who would want to eat raw fish me it turns out same the first time i tried sushi i thought i was going to vomit the smell was horrible somehow i got used to it and now i love it also indian food went from meta hum it's actually kind of nice to craving indian takeaways five times a week edit sushi was perfectly fresh not fishy at all i didn't like the seaweed or vinegar smell i guess pro tip if a sushi place smells fishy find a better sushi place Moana. Ducking A. Man. My daughter watches it every damn day and now I love the ducking movie. Duck you. Disney. Edit. Added hyphen so people don't think I'm ducking a man. You're welcome. Daughter also watches this all the time. I never really sat down and watched it with her all the way through until recently when she was sick and didn't get distracted during the whole thing. Ducking movie made me tear up a couple times. Really spicy food. I used to hate the slightest bit of heat in my food. Then a few years ago I went vegetarian for a while and found none of my normal western dishes really hit the spot. So I tried making Indian. Spicy curries blew me away. Followed by Mexican. Now I have an entire rack in my fridge door filled with hot sauces. Username does not check out. Curling. As in doing it. Not watching it. Edit. Yeah. So I meant sliding the blocks of stone across ice towards a goal. With all the frantic brushing of the ice in between. Just don't do it in the squat rack. Sunday. Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. Saturday. Yeah I don't understand what the problem is. There are zero days in the week named leg day. My husband. We met on Tinder and I wasn't really into him on our first date. He appeared to lack self confidence and I wasn't attracted to the tall, skinny, nerdy type. At the end of the date, he asked for a kiss. And I personally preferred a man to read the situation and engage confidently. Completely personal preference. A lot of girls feel it is sweet to be asked. Later in the week, I had some free time unexpectedly and agreed to meet again on a whim. On this encounter, he was much more comfortable and showed what an incredible sense of humor he had. Three years later we were married and he is the most handsome and wonderful man. I am so thankful I gave it a second chance. One of the main reasons I have a two date policy. Some people might not be themselves on the first date due to nerves or some other reason. If it's still not a match on the second date I tell her so. Can confirm. My first date with my wife was bad to a legendary level. Happily married now for 4 years. The good place. Looked tacky and cute in a not so good way on the Netflix poster. Turns out to have an incredible script. A concept worthy of Douglas Adams. And creates a multi-dimensional sci-fi universe that puts into question everything we accept about reality, art, and ethics. What a gem it turned out to be. Because of that program. I fell in love with Kristen Bell. Before. I had no idea who she was. I didn't watch Veronica Mars. Now. Whenever I see her on the Neutrogena advertisement at Target, my heart flutters. She also does a great job singing as Anna in the Frozen movie. A girl I liked was a huge Backstreet Boys fan so I decided to check it out. I now unironically really like them. Still single though. Still single oh well. Loneliness has always been a friend of mine. I now unironically really like them is it even possible to like something ironically? Who does that? 
Rick and Morty it looked like a lot of the other stupid humor cartoons for adults I've seen. And its fanbase seemed self absorbed. I gave the show a chance and found myself loving the quick wit and catching several jokes that almost went over my head. The fanbase is still idiotic, though. Fans of anything can be extremely obnoxious. My ceiling fan is quite pleasant. Parks and Rec. I hated Amy Fuller on SNL, never really liked her characters. Saw she was main character of the new show taking over after The Office. First season was pretty bad tbh but they changed it up for season 2 and on and I ended up loving the show and liking Amy Fuller now. There are two eras of Parks and Rec. During Brandanoics and after Brandanoics. You mean Brandanoics. Dungeons and Dragons. I grew up on Final Fantasy, Pokemon, Runescape, Ro. Despite this, I always viewed it as cringy and the pinnacle of nerdism. That is, until I was invited to my friend's game. After the first game I was hooked, over the following month, I binged about 50 hours of a D&D show campaign. Critical Role. Created a character and joined the group every Sunday for the session. It also rekindled my motivation for writing. I'm already working on characters for the next campaign. One of which I've written a two page backstory for and isn't complete. I've become so immersed in this character that by the time I'm done writing, it may just be a fantasy fiction novel rather than a D&D character edit. It's not bad to be a nerd. Obviously I am one lol. I wanted to express the irony, which is the misconception stemming from teenage opinions that stuck around too long from a time when I actually cared about what people thought. Don't let anyone get in the way of doing the things that make you happy as I did for far too long. Edit 2. Every other reply is recommending the Adventure Zone, so I'll be sure to check it out lol. And that is how the Malazan Book of the Fallen series of books was created. It was a pen and paper role playing game that got so large they ended up making an epic fantasy series. I binged about 50 hours of a D&D show campaign. Critical role. So like. 4 episodes? I'm working my way through the podcast at work while driving. Just hit episode 95. Game of Thrones. Just didn't think it would ever be my kind of thing then I binged it and got hooked like everybody else. I tried to watch the first episode several times and just couldn't get past the 10 minute mark. And when I finally did I became hooked. Perhaps I should do the same with Breaking Bad, The Wire, Sopranos and many other shows I couldn't get into. Definitely would recommend The Wire. Bloodborne. It only took like a thousand deaths to reach the first boss but now I'm actually enjoying myself. The first portion of that game is difficult as duck because you have to get gut. Once you are done with it you become better and the game becomes less frustrating. Open bracket. Bloodborne is my favorite game and on my second run I completed the first portion on my first try. The first portion of that game is difficult as duck because you have to get gut. Once you are done with it you become better and the game becomes less frustrating. Most Souls style games are like this. The better equipment and stuff will make you more resilient and you're also better used to the controls. When I frames are, etc. TBH. Swallowing. It's before 7am. My thought process was how can you eat food without swa? Oh. Relevant username. Driving. Actually, I might be completely alone in this though. I sort of find it to be extremely relaxing and peaceful. I like driving on the highway the most. Stop and go traffic and city driving kinda suck. Oh. One time I had to drive from L. A. To Las Vegas all by myself. That's a miserable. 4 hour drive through the desert. And I was really dreading it. But it turned out to be such a calming, meditative experience. I now look for excuses to make the drive again. The Wire. I never liked police drama type shows but it was far different than any other police show I've seen and ended up being my favorite of all time. She i i i i i i eat. Brussels sprouts. They are delicious roasted with olive oil and parmesan. Add some garlic. Particularly fresh minced. It'll get crunchy when you roast it. Love how it goes with roasted Brussels sprouts. Try with a drizzle of balsamic after cooking. So good. Running. I've only started doing it last week. Thanks C25K app. But it's much more enjoyable than I thought. I'm optimistic I'll stick with it. Makes me feel great. 
be careful, I did see 25k several years ago, and then a few years later ended up finishing a 100 mile trail race. Found a 5k in July I want to try and I signed up as motivation to actually do something about my weight and have a goal to work towards. I started W1D1 today and thought I was going to die. Calves burned. I had to stop halfway. But I went back and finished. Now an hour later. I feel fantastic. It definitely helps to get back on the treadmill edit. Thanks for all the well wishes. It means a lot. Honey Mustard. I've always been pretty anti-condiment but one day I was at Wendy's with my boss and I asked her what the big deal was with the stuff. Guys, it turns out honey mustard is ducking amazing. Goes on everything. Nuggets, burgers, corn dogs, french fries, honey Dijon is also the bomb diggity. I didn't even know there were anti-condiment people out there. Sauce is the boss. Guacamole. I mean if we're honest, it looks kind of gross but it tastes wonderful. Veggie burgers. Not the same as the real deal but I find them equally as good just different. Open bracket. I'm not a vegetarian. Black bean burgers reign supreme in the land of meatless burgers. There's a restaurant by me that has a falafel burger and it's the best thing I've ever tasted. Pretzel chips and vanilla ice cream. Perfect blend of sweet and salty and ice cream makes a perfect dip. It's so awesome. Do yourself a flavor favor and try it the next time you get a chance. Is it kind of like a Wendy's fry in a frosty? That shit is so good. Honesty time. Solo sex toys for dudes. The ladies get all their fancy vibrating boyfriends but for some reason it's weird for guys to have something to help out on solo missions. At the risk of having my inbox filled with sex toys for the next few hours. I think part of it is design. Women's ones are often quite discreet in how they look. Whereas a lot of men's ones seem to look like disembodied genitals. You can see how that might be off-putting. The Tenga flip hole is a solid choice if you're looking for a male sex toy that doesn't make you look like a serial killer in training. Heck. If you leave it flipped open on your nightstand there's good odds that most folks wouldn't have the first clue what it is. Boys. Was born into a Christian household and was taught it was a sin. What are the chances I'd become a gay atheist? Shit is cray cray. A homophobic hyper Christian family member of mine was once ranting about lesbians adopting kids. Blah blah poor kids growing up not knowing who their fathers are blah blah I responded with well if having a dad is so important. Having two should be. Like. Awesome he quickly changed the subject. Just thought you'd get a kick out of that. He. One of my favorites is Jesus had two dads and he turned out fine. Metal, and especially death metal, took me approximately a year to fully transition from I don't understand that screamy music to falling asleep to Moore's Principia Mistate. The hardest thing to get across to my non-metal friends is how many different sub-genres of metal there are, and that I love some of them and dislike others. If they hear anything with screaming growling they'll nod to me and say sounds like something you'd like. If I tell them I don't like it either. They just roll their eyes and say what's the difference? One of my friends thinks I like Gua by default because that's his go to metal band for some reason. Despite telling him I don't like Gua, he still insists that Gua is my type of music. I am just wish my friends would stop calling the music I listen to screamo. Drawing. I was always pretty bad in most art related stuff, and I always drew like a 5 year old. But I got into it lately and the progress has honestly surprised me. I didn't think I'd be able to draw anything at all. It's also a really fun thing to do. Asparagus. Tried it for the first time on a cruise last summer and loved it. And I really dislike vegetables. Asparagus pee is weird though. Embrace the stank. Such a treat to go to the bathroom later. And be assaulted by the smell. As you recoil and think WTF. Oh right asparagus. Black Mirror. All I'd heard about it led me to believe it was going to be a herder. Millennials. Herder. Technology is bad. Show. Then I watched it and it's probably one of my favorite things on television. Ever. Archer. I was like him an adult. I don't watch cartoons anymore. Next thing I know I was on season 2 in one day. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.